Hi everyone and welcome to the vlog of Rhonda's Readings to another exciting episode of Rhonda's Recipes. Tonight we're cooking something really hearty, a comfort food, takes um, not very long at all and it always tastes great. Tonight we're cooking lasagna. I chopped up a brown onion. I also added dried onions and I also added a teaspoon of garlic and I've just cooked those, mixed them together. What I've also got to add to the sauce is uh, chopped up mushrooms and bacon. You don't have to use garlic if you don't want to. You can add other vegetables, whatever, any type of mushrooms, whatever um, takes your fancy really. And what we also do is little tomatoes we just um, sort of season those and grill those and we add those to our sauce mix um, it's also really yummy for breakfast on <laughs> on toast if you don't want to have fresh food um, you can have you can have something like this tomato paste we like to make our own foods because we find them less salty we can actually control what goes in them and we tend to not use much salt so we prefer the taste like that but it's entirely up to you Okay, now you can see the caramelization. So you can see that frying adds flavor. So I've got sort of the brownness there. So my husband is now going to tip in the bacon and mushrooms that we've chopped up. And we're just gonna add that and stir it up. And we do actually have spray canola oil. So I tend to just sort of spray it to help Can't do that. And we've also got mild olive oil, which we're just going to tip in. There we go. So just oiling it up. We're using oil instead of butter um, to help our cholesterol levels. I mean, you obviously need something because you don't want to burn it. We just want to caramelise it to give it that taste. And everything we add, we just caramelise and we just add a flavour and texture to that. So I haven't seasoned it all yet. I'm just adding the ingredients to start. So you can see the brown things at the bottom as my husband is stirring it. That's the, they're the things that are giving it flavour. Um, if you want to add anything else at this point, you add it if it's going to add flavour to it. So uh, it's probably lots you could do. <laughs> Um, we are making lasagna, so we're trying not to add too many vegetables. It's more just about adding different things to give it flavour. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're adding the mince because we want to start browning that off as well. So we've got a packet of mince. We're just using beef mince tonight. So it's 500 grams of mince and we're just adding that in. So now we're just going to stir that in just to brown it off. And The reason for dicing the mince up as we're stirring it in is to increase the surface area to volume ratio of the mince. So if you imagine if we put the whole 500 gram packet in, it would only cook at the ends of that packet. By putting it into smaller parts, then you increase the volume of that piece of mince, so then it cooks. Um, and as you can see, it's just mixed in nicely, it's all, all ground off. So. We're going to start adding the tomato and the sauces and seasoning and the rest of it. With this sauce, you can actually um, you could keep it if you want to use it for pasta sauce or that sort of thing. You could keep it if you're going to use it um, the next day, or you could freeze it if you're going to use it at a later date. Okay, so we're going to start adding some tomato paste now. We'll just do a spoon at a time. If you're not sure how much to add, add a, add a little bit first because it's easier to <laughs> add than to take out, um, especially after it's mixed in. So we'll just mix that in and that looks, that looks pretty good. And don't forget we've got those tomatoes to add as well later. Okay. 
Okay, we're also going to add some water to this. So if you didn't want to use water, so water is going to dilute any flavour you've got. You could also add some stock. So you'd boil a kettle, mix up the stock and then add it. The reason why we're adding water or liquid is because we're using this mixture for lasagna rather than a pasta sauce. So if you think of lasagna, you're actually, well, we haven't made our own sheets, we're just using a packet of lasagna sheets. And if you think of the sheets being quite dry, we want sort of the liquid and we've got a bechamel sauce as well. So we want it to be um, really infused in that and um, just spread the flavour basically. Okay, so I'm just doing a little taste test. I've just got a little spoon here. I'm just going to try it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty tasty. It's really good. Okay, so just starting the bechamel sauce. We've added a little bit of oil and butter. You don't have to use both. You can use one or the other. We're also going to add a teaspoon of plain flour. You can use corn flour if you have that, but as you know, it's difficult to buy flour. <laughs> That's all we've got. So we've got plain flour and butter and oil in there. So with a bit of heat, we're just going to gently combine. We're also going to add milk, and we like to warm the milk up first. Just Okay, so we've just combined that, the flour with the butter and oil, just a little bit more flour. And we've got about half a cup of milk that we've heated in the microwave just so we warm it up so it's adding a warm mixture to a warm mixture. So there we go, just adding that one in. So it's kind of like making a tuna monet or something like that. You're, you're making up the sauce um, and you're also adding cheese to it as well. The butter stops the flour from clumping. And we're just going to heat it up until it starts bubbling. As you can see, it started clumping, so we're going to start adding the cheese now. There we go. Oh, look at that. So this is the part that reminds me of making a tuna monet. So we're adding lots of cheese. There's no lactose intolerance in our house. We like cheese. Most of the time it likes us too, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see that texture changing and we're adding more cheese so it's going to change even more. Okay, and it's simply grated cheese from a supermarket. We normally buy kilo solid blocks and it's about 7 or $8 so it's cheaper than buying pre-grated cheese. <laughs> we figure it's really hardly any effort to grate it. Okay, so we're also going to add some parmesan as well, and that actually was pre-grated. We've actually brought the parmesan um, clumps, what is that what it's called? Parmesan block before, but um, it's really weird to grate. <laughs> I don't like it, and I find that blocks really stink, so um, we tend to buy grated parmesan, but everything else we just buy in the blocks. Okay, so two different cheeses there. You can go to town, you can honestly can have as many cheese varieties as you want or you can just keep it really plain and simple, whatever you want. Because um, remember this is going in the lasagna, in the layers, so it's not the only ingredient to the recipe. Okay, so we've just added in the last of the cheese and just stirring up that bechamel sauce. So it looks like we're not measuring, and that's generally true when we cook. <laughs> we find precision's not important because most of the time our cooking turns out pretty well. Um, if it's a f recipe I'm not familiar with, I tend to follow it strictly and weigh everything out and all the rest of it. Otherwise, I tend to sort of cook intuitively. Um, and obviously, I, I cook things differently to my husband and vice versa, and that's okay. We're both got different techniques we've developed over the years and that's all fine. Just going to try some bechamel sauce and I know it's going to be pretty good because it's got cheese in it 
But there you go, this is the Bechamel sauce. Yeah, I mean, it's actually really, really cheesy. I wouldn't sort of eat that on its own. It's kind of like eating a fondue, which I wouldn't necessarily eat, but in the lasagna, combined with everything else, it's going to be lovely. Okay, so now we're set to start assembling the lasagna. We've got the sheets ready to go. We've got the sauce. We've got the bechamel sauce. We've got a greased lasagna tray and a couple of cute little lasagna things that we're going to use. So we've got the sheets and you can break them, you can do whatever you want with them. So we've just got, um, yeah, so my husband's just snapping them. Okay. If you have a better way of doing this, of snapping them, please comment below. Alright, so we're going to scoop up some sauce and put that in. And layer it. So you don't need to put much in, just enough to sort of layer it. We just try to cover the edges as we go. Beautiful. So we literally just do layers of the sheets, the sauce, the bechamel sauce, and then more sheets. And you obviously use a different utensil for each one, just to keep it clean. Um, and that's important if you have made more of one than the other and you want to freeze it for leftovers. Okay, so we're going to put the layers back on again. Perfect. All right. There we go. And then we've got a little bit more. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we'll do that again with the sauce. So remember that sauce we had mince, beef mince, garlic, onions, tomatoes, mushrooms in that. And you can use whatever you want in the sauce. And we also had the seasoning as well. Okay, that's good. So now some more bechamel sauce. Perfect. And you can buy packets of bechamel sauce, but I tend not to like them. <laughs> I prefer making the one. I prefer the one that we make. And it's really simple to make as well. All right, that's good. So now more um more layers again. Yeah. That's my husband breaking them there. Perfect. All right. Okay, so we're doing the bechamel sauce first. That's okay. And it's sort of, oh, it's because it's up the top. That's why. So you obviously um, can only add to the volume of the container that you're putting it in. We've also got some parmesan sauce, parmesan cheese. So we're going to add that as well. Okay, there we go. Because we want it to fry up and have a crunchy cheese top, which is always awesome. And we've got the oven going. Okay, so these are the finished products. We've got the two little containers there. We haven't made them in the little ones before, but we just had enough for about that amount, which is pretty much accurate. Um, and this is our main one here. It's probably a little bit drier than we'd like, but but that's okay. That, will, that should be fine. All right, so we'll pop those in the oven and we'll show you the finished product and the tasting later. Okay, so they're nice and cooked, all bubbling away. It looks beautiful. Okay, so we're going to cut the lasagna now. My husband's very keen. Okay, he doesn't normally shake like that, it's just, he's just cutting it. Okay, so... We'll have a bit of crunchy bit each. 
We we're going to have it with salad, but we're both hungry and impatient, so we're actually just going to have it like that. Okay, it's looking pretty good. All right, so it's best to use a little egg flip. Is that what they're called? Spatula? Spatula? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. That sounds good. Okay. Oh, oh look at that cheese gonna sauce. Oh, it's going to... It may not be... <laughs> it may not look completely appetising. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay. So we're just... Um, There we go. That's okay. That works. Okay, so that's our dinner for tonight. And we'll have a go at my one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good work. Good work. It's okay, I can have the most unappealing one. I don't mind. Okay. Well, wow. <laughs> it's gone upside down. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. All right. So we're going to taste it now. If we can have a fork, please, husband. Okay. Okay, so now for the tasting. I'm just, um, just got a little bit here. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, you can even let it cool, let it chill, you know, heat it up again, um, whatever. As you can see, we've made a lot. So that's literally going to be another three meals for both of us. Um, but yeah, that looks. I'm really happy with that. So that's how to make lasagna. Thanks for watching till the end. Please... <laughs> please comment below please like the vlog please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye to another exciting episode <laughs>